Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make origami dragons, like this guy. Um, each of the steps is pretty simple. There are a couple that get complicated, but I'm going to be going slow and I'll be walking you through all of the steps a couple of times. Um, so this is the second in the series of meditative origami tutorials. Um, if you missed out on the first one, um, I will include a link to it. Um, uh, it was the paper crane. Um, or you can pick up here if you're already good at origami. Um, just remember when we're doing origami as an active meditation, we want to be mindful of our breathing um, and we want to try and keep our frustration level down. Um, sometimes when we're learning a new origami uh, fold, it can be kind of frustrating if you miss a step or if something's difficult for you. So just stay present, um, be mindful of where you're at and keep on breathing through the process. I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Um, so I'm just using regular printer paper that I colored to make it a little more exciting. Um, and then I just marked out some of the places where some of our folds are going to be. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see. You don't need to mark your um, creases. You should be able to see them when you're actually doing it, but it doesn't translate very well on the camera. So I went ahead and did this for you. Um, if you have a piece of paper with a design on one side that you want to be showing, we're going to start with that up. And then we're not going to worry about it after this. Um, it is going to work out the way it's going to work out. Um, I will let you know what part is going to be the wings and what part is going to be the tail when we get there um, and how to switch them if you want it to be, uh, if you want the head and tail to be different or the wings to be different. So we're going to start just the same way that we fold a paper crane. We're going to go uh, corner to corner on both sides. And then we're going to turn it over and go edge to edge on both sides. You want this to be as straight as you can get it. Um, the straighter you start, the straighter you finish, um, and the crisper your dragon will look. It might take a couple of practice runs to get a really crisp, um, clean, folded dragon. Um, some of the folds can just get a little bit confusing when you're first doing them and you might have extra creases that make it look a little less um, neat, but if you practice a couple of times you should be able to get it. Um, so again, like the crane, we're going to pick up two corners. We're going to let these creases go in and let those creases stay out, like so. And that's going to create a nice um, diamond shape for us that opens on the bottom. You're going to keep the opening part facing towards you. We're going to take these corners and fold them into the center seam. Like so. And again. Like so. And then we're going to turn it over and do the same thing. Into the center, and this one into the center as well. Okay, then we're going to take the top of the triangle and fold down to create a crease here and on the other side. Here. Okay, and we're going to take the tip of this part of the triangle and fold down to make another crease here and on the other side. Okay. So now just like when we fold the paper crane, we're going to open these up. I like to reinforce this uh, crease by folding it back the other way. Just makes the next step a little bit easier. So we're going to grab where it opens. We're going to have just one layer. You pull it back and you'll see that the paper wants to fold down on those creases we made before. We're just going to let it fold down. Try and keep it lined up. This is where it can get a little bit out of alignment. Keep it as straight as you can. Awesome. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to reinforce those seams here and here. Gonna lift up one layer 
and let it fold together. And again, if the paper catches and doesn't want to crease right where it's supposed to, you make it. You're in charge here. Okay. So now we're going to take and fold these down so you can see if I do it correctly, that we have that diamond shape again. Now remember these that we made here. If you open it up, you'll see that there's like a little window here of creases. I've marked it out for you so you can see it clearly. We want that part to be on the inside. So we're gonna push down. We're gonna pinch the square boxes of the seam here, 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 and here. So it's flat on top. And then we want that center to move in. And the creases are going to help you do this. So it kind of creates an X. And we're going to close it up. Okay, so now this is the shape that we have sort of a diamond. This is the part where we determine what we want to be the wings and what we want to be the head and the tail. As is now, what's on top is going to be the wings. And here is the other wing. If you want what's inside to be, just open it up at this step so that it flips. So if you wanted it like that. I actually want these two matching ones to be the wings. So that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. Now we have this crease right here across the bottom. We're going to take the tip corner of the diamond right here. And we're going to fold it down to create a triangle along that bottom crease. We don't want this to fold past that crease. It's going to be able to by a little bit, but you don't want it to do that. It's going to make uh, some of the folds later a lot harder if that happens. So try to keep it closer to the seam, but on this side of it. Okay. As you can see, it makes a little triangle here in the center and two little diamonds. So we're going to turn over and do the same thing. Here. And there. Okay, so this is the shape we have now. We've got a little diamond, and we've got a flatter top than what we had before. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're going to make the wings. So you're going to open up, we're going to fold this triangle across so it meets the seam in the center. And then we're going to do it on the other side as well. Okay. Now we're actually going to form the shape of the wing. So you're going to press this seam together. So we've got a point and you're going to push it flat. So this is the shape that we have right now. Okay, we're going to crease it on one side and the other. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'll show you that whole process one more time. You're going to open up. We're going to fold into the center one way. And into the center the other way. We're going to push this crease together and go down so that we have a point. Then we're going to fold one way and then the other. And I like to park them the same way. It just means we have to move them around a little less. So this is the shape that we have now. We've got our wings here and we've got two loose parts here. So we're going to take these parts. They're going to become the head and the tail and you don't have to decide quite yet which one's which, I'll tell you when. But we're going to fold that in to the top, like so, and over here, same thing, okay. 
So this is where it starts to get tricky and the folds get smaller just because we have folded a lot. Um, I'm going to be going over each of these slowly. Don't worry about it. If you miss it the first time, I will show you again. Um, try not to get frustrated. Okay, so we're going to take one side and unfold it. We're going to open and you can move the wings out of your way. It's not going to hurt them to go one way or the other. We're going to open up the middle of this and you can see you have two creases here and here. We're going to, like we did before when we formed the wings, we're going to push this seam together and we're going to let those two creases we just made fold in. So it's going to make a shape like this. Okay. So it's, it's very similar to what we did right here looking, um, but that it's actually folded into there. Mine got a little crooked, which is okay. It's part of what determines what's the head or the tail sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to show you again over here. We're going to unfold, and you can see these creases that we made. I'm going to move the wings out of the way. We open up. We fold this seam that we have before into here, and we let the creases we made create a triangle. Push it in. So this is the shape that we have. Okay. So now, um, what we're going to do is use that fold we just made to reverse it. So we're actually going to move this up. So to do that, we're going to open the side and just reverse the crease that's right there. And I'll show you again right over here. So we open this part of the triangle, see the, the greater triangle. We open, there's a track, there's a crease right here. We're just going to reverse it so that it folds the opposite way of how it's folding right now. Okay. We're going to do the same on the other side. So we open and reverse, and then we open and reverse. Okay. Let's see, my paper got a little bit folded up. You can fold it right back down. It doesn't hurt it. Okay. So this is our shape. Kind of a funky. little shape. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, thin the head and the tail, and it's going to help us create our feet. Okay, so to do that, we're going to open up, and we're going to fold this in half. Okay. Can you see the different layer? We just folded that in half. Now it creates uh, sort of a Resistance here, where it won't keep folding, that's exactly right. It's going to create our feet. So we're just going to make a crease there where the resistance is. And it looks something like this. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'll show you up here so you can see a little easier. We're going to open up this part. We're on the greater triangle. We open up this part. And then we fold this length in half. To meet the other one. Okay, here's where our resistance is against this part. We're just going to make a crease there. And those are going to be our feet. And I'll show you how to make them feet in a second. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do that one on the table. So we'll move the wing out of the way. Open this. Fold it in half. And then where our resistance is, we just make a crimp back and forward. And that's going to be one of our feet. Okay, 
And now on the other side, we move the wing out of the way. We open this up, fold down, and then where the resistance is, we just crease it. Okay? So our shape now looks like this. It's getting very close to the finished dragon here. Okay. At this point, you're going to decide which is the head and the tail. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have one that's a little scrappier than the other, the folds weren't quite right. Um, I usually make that the tail just because it has a little bit less uh, responsibility for uh, the re recognizability of the shape. I think I'm going to make the red side my head, which means I'm going to fold the wings up and away from where my head is. So I'm just taking that wing and making a diagonal crease so it's up in the air. And then I'm going to match that crease with the other side, like so. So now we're going to make our feet before we do the head. We have our little triangles here where they pop out. Underneath you'll see that there are a few layers, like so. You want to puff those out a little bit. You're going to take the top. You can also see that there's a crease here in the top, hopefully right there. You want to open that up a little bit and open up the bottom. And I know this is hard to see because it's so small. Okay, you're gonna press in right here. You're gonna press in where you want the leg to go down. And it's gonna create this sort of triangle. And then you're just gonna pinch to make it a foot, a leg. Okay, I'll show you that again over here. So, we have a double layer top and a triple layer bottom. We're going to open up both. Stretch the paper a little bit. And then on the center layer of the bottom, we're going to make a dent, push in, and it's going to form a triangle. And then we just pinch the triangle to make it into a leg. Now we have two legs. Um, you may need to just push them both in towards the dragon a little bit if they're out too far. Um, once you've got them sort of into this shape, you can really kind of smoosh them into whatever position you want them in. Okay, and we can do the same with the back legs. Okay, we're gonna open it up. And this one got a little scrappy. You can see it's not quite as neat as the others. That's okay. It's going to turn out just fine. We're going to do the same thing. Open it up. Open it up. And push. Okay. And you can see it's still kind of square. We're going to pinch it to make it a leg. And we'll push it in like the other ones. And it looks just the same. Okay, now we got one left. I'm going to do that one more time. Open it up on both sides. Put a dent in it. Got our triangle. And pinch it. And we got a leg. All right, so now our dragon can stand up on his own and you might have to just kind of pinch it a little. Make those sit exactly where they need to sit to make them stand tall. You can pose them a little bit. Um, by doing that. Okay, so now we're gonna get to our last step, which is adding definition in the head and tail. We're just gonna take, and I like to do it in three, because I like to give my dragon a horn, like this. You can give him a triangular face, you just won't do the third fold, and you might fold the second fold a little bit further out. But let me show you how we do that. So you're gonna open up the neck it's also double layered and then you're just going to push in towards so it's open and we push in and then we close it okay 
And we're going to do that again, so I'll show you again. We open. We push in. And we close it. Okay? Uh, and then you can position it. So if you want them to look down, you leave it like this. If you want them looking straight ahead, you just pinch here and pull the paper where you want it. It'll only go so far, but it helps if you want your dragon to look straight ahead. And then we're going to do it one more time. You open. You push in. And with the horn, we're going to push all the way in. And you pinch. So now we've got a dragon head, horn, and neck. Okay. Now on the tail, I also like to do three folds just because I like the symmetry of it. You can do two. You can leave it as is, and it's a perfectly good dragon just now. Um, but it's just got a long tail. So I'm going to open. I'm going to push in. I'm going to fold. And on the tail, I always pull it out a little. Because I don't like his tail going straight up. I want it to go out a little bit. If you want his tail to keep going straight up, you can do that. Again, you can stop here if you want his tail like that. Um, it's however many crimps you want in the tail up to you. I just like to do three. And last one, pinch in, and out. So this tail's kind of going up in a sort of back and forth way. And there we have our lovely dragon. Now we've got a pair of dragons. They can fly around and play. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Go ahead and just leave a comment and I will try and get back to you. Um, or if there's anything in particular you'd like to learn to fold next, uh, I can give a shot to that. Thanks for watching.